right guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to replace your M4 hop rubber on your AEG. So before you do any work, make sure your battery's disconnected and your magazines are out of the gun. So to get your hop up, what you need to do is strip the gun down. So you want to remove this pin here. Mine's an Allen key, but for the purpose of the video, I've already undone it. And take the bolt out. And for that, I normally just give it a nice gentle tap. And it's out. So I want to remove my upper receiver from my lower. It's as easy as that. Sometimes you might get your upper catching about here. If you do, pull your charging handle back slightly and just lift it up because you might have a little ridge on your gearbox there. So don't need that. And there's your M4 unit. So now your unit out of the gun, this is what you're left with. So you'll want to remove screw here and the one, two locking clips there. So, Phillips screw, take you out, put it on side, and then this wheel should just lift off. And then to get these clips off, I normally use a flat head, just get underneath and gently prise them up. Just like that, and now you come off. And this one. All right, to remove this last gear, you want to push down your arm slightly and then push from the back and it pops out just like that. And inside, if you can see, you should have a spring here. Come on. Spring here and your nub there. So that comes a spring. And the nub is right there. Now to take your barrel off, you want to remove your C-clip just here. And then gently pull your barrel out. So the button's actually stuck in the unit slightly. So as I'm replacing this, I can just pull it out and be a bit forceful. It's just going in the bin. There she goes. Now, to put a new bucking on, you want to line up this ridge at the bottom here with this line in the barrel. All you do, marry it up and just push it on. There we go. And then grab a unit. With that line that I was just talking about a second ago, you want to line it up with your mould line on the unit if you've got one. If you're not, just give it a good guess. That's getting too tight. So, what you can do, put a little bit of silicon on the rubber on the outside. Don't get any on the inside at all, otherwise, it will just ruin the hop and you won't get any at all. And then again, get the line, and there she goes, nice and easy in. You've got two indents on your barrel just here, that's where the C clip goes. So, C clip in. Just like that. So now your barrel's in, you want to do your nub and your spring, which goes in here. So, spring first, which sits just there. And then your nub, you want to place on here. As you see, I've put a little bit of grease on there just to hold this in, otherwise it's going to go flying. So all you do, push you in like that. Wipe off any excess, and down she goes. Just like that. At this stage, this is when you want to just push down and check inside here, look through and make sure that it's actually working 
putting down is compressing and then you're getting backspin onto your BB. If not, you might have to take your barrel out and realign it. So once you've done that, you're going to want to put this cog in first, which is this one. You know because it's got the little square there, it's got a nice big tail on the end. So all you do, push this down, find the hole and get it in, like so. Next one is this gear. So there's two ways you could do this, but there's only one way it will fit. So this has got a little indent on one side, and that wants to be marrying onto the hop unit as well. Give that a spin, make sure it's all working. And then the last one just goes in here. Check, make sure they're actually turning all. Don't do it too fast, otherwise you might break the cogs. And then you want to add your locking clips on. All you do, push down and you clip. Clip one. Oop. Clip two. And your screw that goes there. That's it.